Artspark Texas and Pen to Paper Creative Writing Contest present The Lion and Pirate, an inclusive virtual open mic for writers, performers, and musicians. Ready? Yes! Please welcome <laughs> David Mare Romero. <clears throat> Great to be here. Thank you. A um, <clears throat> while back, um, several years ago, I came across uh, Native American uh, Cherokee uh, folktale. <clears throat> and um, you may have seen this somewhere, but it shows two wolves uh, facing each other. And one's the good wolf and one's the evil. And <clears throat> so uh, kind of the subtitle of that is The One You Feed. So I read that and I got very inspired by it. And I wrote this, uh, put this music to, uh, to the uh, folktale. One evening, old Cherokee told his grandson that a battle that goes on inside of people, and the battle is between two wolves inside his heart. One is evil, the other is good. One is evil. The good wolf is em empathy, compassion, peace, and kindness, generosity, benevolence, peace, and joy, hope and humility, it's a way and pain. Evil wolf is jealousy. His grandfather in this battle between evil and good boy, which one win? Old Cherokee simply replied, The one you feed. that I totally uh, forgot the lyrics to the evil wolf, but <laughs> obviously it's going to be the um, opposite of the good. So <laughs> we, we just won't feed him. Yeah, you know, that, that that's good. Well, we, you know, a denial is a powerful thing. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. It's glad to be back. Um, this is, uh, oh, she pulled up the run I was going to read first. Wow. Okay, I'm going to read this one. I don't know if I read it here before, but this is something that I, I have done, and it's titled Blood Red Moon. The night is young, and the spirits become restless. Listen to the wind as it dances through the trees as night creatures begin to awaken. The moon in the dark sky slowly turns to crimson red. A lunar eclipse occurs two to four times a year, but the blood 
moon is more rare as its radiance shines brightly. The sky seemed like an empty grave as the stars seemed to be orphaned as they hide from open view. Throughout time and the ages, the appearance of the blood moon has been the source of many myths, folklore, and prophecies. For Christians, it meant that God was unhappy and some believed it was a sign of the end of times. For many ancient civilizations, the blood moon came with evil intentions and symbolized blood shed and the need for healing. Regardless of your beliefs, it is often wise to pay attention to nature as it often gives us many signs, large and small, that have a direct effect on our lives. If only we could become more alert and more astute to the signs and their meanings, we might be able to avert sadness and have a more positive outcome in our lives. Ooh. And uh, this, this next one, because we, 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 we did go to LA and we also went to Las Vegas. And we got a chance to see Journey. I'm going to throw that off in there. So had a good time there. And this is, <laughs> this is a new poem that I wrote while I was out there. And it's titled Years Gone By. A long, long time ago, perhaps thousands of years, a different breed of people roamed Earth. They walked through what we call the beginning of time, the prehistoric age before dinosaurs became extinct. If you go there, you will see the red rocks and yellow skies. The crimson desert looks like it was painted with a paintbrush made of orange lilies. Hollow canyons snake through the red and brown sandstone. Deer and bighorn sheep corral around the water holes. You wonder what brought the people to this desolate land of salt, cactus, and dry land. They left their stories in the rocks. Footprints was left on trails from the past. Handprints were left upon the walls of caves and rocks. They survived thousands of years of the sun, rain, wind, and rock slides. Now they are being destroyed and stripped from the rocks that left memories from the past by the people who roam the earth today. Thank you. Tad, who is a first time Lion and Pirate performer. Um, I'm gonna read you uh, two short lyrics. Um, the first one by the Sicilian folk singer, Rosa Balestrari. Oh, I see you've got my text right on the screen, so I don't have to use my paper, thank you. That's sure. great. Um, the first is by um, Rosa Balestrari, and you can see her spelling of her name there. Uh, Sicilian folk singer. Um, not too well known, I think, outside of Italy, but quite well known in, in Sicily. Um, if you've never heard her sing, I recommend uh, checking out YouTube. If you like really gutsy, down to, down to earth and straight from the heart folk music, uh, Rosa Balestrari is, to my mind, the equivalent of somebody like Edith Piaf or Amalia Rodriguez, uh, amazing singer. Um, she thought of herself as uh, a voice for the marginalized and the oppressed, um, or as she put it herself, the, uh, those sins of Uchi, those without voices themselves. Um, so I'm going to start. The first thing I'll read is my English version of her Sicilian words of the song, Quanu Yumaru, When I Die. When I die, don't say a mass for me, but remember me as your friend and bring me a flower big red flower, the color of blood. When I die, don't think of me as dead. Tell everyone what I told you and don't feel alone, even in the grave, I will not leave you. When I die, sing my songs, don't forget them. Sing them for others and think of me sometimes who died on a cross without a voice for this land. When I die, bring me a flower, big red flower, the color of blood. Um, the next poem is one of mine uh, that I wrote to, in her honor. Um, originally as a, uh, a class exercise for a class in Italian, where, where my instructor was Sardinian. So <laughs> it was an odd conjunction. Um, 
in that, just to give you a couple of references within this, Licata is uh, the ten, little town in southern Sicily where uh, Rosa Balestrieri was born. Cafe Dante is a uh, was a song venue in Florence where she first became known and famous. And uh, I think the rest you may know. The Little Sparrow is Edith Piaf. Amalia is a wonderful fado singer called Amalia Rodriguez. I don't know whether she's well known in this country either, but another person to check out on YouTube. So this is called Song for Rosa. Where are you singing tonight, Rosa Balestrieri? Where is it echoing now, that voice of the voiceless? Can we hear it in Licata, in the cries of the market, where the sea, jealous lover, caresses the coast, where the bellies are empty and promises are full, where honor is a shower of stones, where those who saw into your gypsy heart gave your voice its incandescence? Where are you singing tonight, Rosa Balestrieri? Can we hear you at the Cafe Dante? where comrades first gave you hope in that spring where everyone had a dream? Can we hear you in Palermo, where you return, prodigal daughter, vagrant, redeemed by fame? Can we hear you in Licata? Have they put up posters on the corner where you worked in the sun? You asked us to remember you when I die, to remember the withered flowers and the low voices, to listen to the old struggle darkened by breezes. And we said to you, yes, we will remember. We will hear you in the Little Sparrows cafes, in the Lisbon alleys where Amalia sang, in the plazas of Florence where the people sang, and in the streets of Licata where girls sing still. Where are you singing tonight, Rosa Balestrieri? Send me some tickets on the wind. I will bring you the world. So I thought I would sing this song that I wrote about my mother. Um, my Both sets of my grandparents came over on the boat to Ellis Island from Italy, actually one set from Sicily. So Tad, I really was fascinated by your presentation. I'm gonna look up that singer for sure. But anyway, so my father's people landed in Ellis Island and settled in Brooklyn, but my mother's people, for some reason, ended up at the Jersey Shore, a hundred miles south of Ellis Island at the Jersey Shore, and I don't know many of the, I don't know many details about it at all. But the little that I know about what my mother did when she met my father, this is what this song is about. So it's called "Shy Girl in a Shore Town." on a small farm five blocks from the ocean never learned to swim she met a boy from brooklyn at a long branch block dance on a blind date her sister wasn't interested in when they bombed pearl harbor charlie joined the navy his first name was salvatore they honey Followed Charlie way out west. He shipped out from San Francisco. She got a job in the five and ten, roomed with another girl and waited for their man. I heard the story as a kid. I never asked any questions. I wonder why I never did. Wonder why I never did. shore town was she ready for adventure or did she miss home maroon three thousand miles from her own ocean thinking of charlie with emotion when the war was over when the war was over they started their life 
a cul-de-sac. The mother I grew up with was neither the shy girl or the brave new wife. That westward journey away from her shore town sounds more like something I would do. I never gave her credit for the independence each generation thinks their mothers never knew. I heard the story as a kid. I never asked any questions. I wonder why I never did. Wonder why I never did. Shy girl in a shore town, nine kids on a small farm, five blocks from the ocean, never learned to swim. She met a girl, she met a boy from Brooklyn at a Long Branch block dance on a blind date her sister wasn't interested in. Oh, wow. Chills, Joanne. That was incredible. Thank that you. was nice, Joanne. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yay. You're such a storyteller. <laughs> yeah, that was wonderful yeah. lyrics. Truth. Thank that you. was Thank you, awesome. Mm -hmm. That was wonderful, Joanne. Bravissima. <laughs> <laughs> Bravissima. <laughs> really great. My favorite, uh, another of my favorite Scottish songs. <clears throat> and uh, <sighs> for the summer time is coming, and the trees are sweetly blooming, and the wild mountain time. Doors around the blooming heather. Would you go, Lassie? Go, and we'll all go together to a wild mountain town all around the blooming heather. Will you go, Lassie, go? If my true love, she had gone, I would surely find another to pull on a mountain tide. All around the blooming heaven Would you go, Lassie, go And we'll all go together To the wild mountain town All around the blooming heaven Will you go, Lassie, go? I will be my love a bower. By a clear crystal fountain, and upon it I will shower all the wildflowers of the mountain. Would you go, Lassie, go, and we'll all go together to pull wild. Mountain time all around the blue heather. Will you go, 
Following straight on, here we go. This is Goddess 2022. So in Barcelona Goddess Exhibition, we spin down thin alleyways to an art exhibition with hand-sized diverse goddess sculptures, one shaped like a violin, another Venus de Willendorf, all to be held in hand, close to heart, perhaps buried once to be dug up when men did not stormtrooper their violent occupations of women and this earth. All so very small, tiny altars of belief so different divergent fat slim tall short but all with curves and women's features no weapons just musical instruments flash to glastonbury sacred wells and cornwall stone circles for certain geometries are of women curve circle ellipsis no straight lines in natura power of water scrying dowsing water magic springs with ribbons on sacred branches women in the temple of apollo at delphi mary of magdala goddess of dea resurrected in the landscape and lady june the poet household goddesses bridget goddess of smithing and poetry athena selene artemis diana hestia each resonate healing when focus is given female spirits min min lights dakini earth is a goddess called gaia our place names derive from goddess worship. Athena for Athens, Britannia for Britain, Roma for Rome, Luna for Moon, Pele Volcano. Women carry the names of goddesses, Phoebe, Belinda, Cynthia, Sabrina, Pomona. Easter celebrates Ishtar. Flowers of goddesses, Iris, Fauna, Muses, Polymnia. Our language appropriates goddess spells, Aura, Diva, Serena, Persephone. Each culture has goddess worship embedded. Ariadne, Venus, Ceres, Minerva, Clementia. Their names are magical chants. Aene, Feronia, Baela, Lysa, Rhea, Uma, Sununa. We are steeped in goddess spells, even unaware of their powers. Peace, Concordia. Our language is goddess spellcasting. We invoke them today via naming. Goddess returns under many names in every culture. We just have to relearn to love their powers. Breathe, chant, turn up the sunshine, march, marches in, all bright and beautiful. Stage two, mass optional, festivals of spring are calling us all. Forget that Omicron sub-variant, crowds will pay to gather again to see you feel, touch their luminaries. Forget social distancing. You ask me, what can we do about wars over there? Answer, make peace possible where we are. Even with APD, Republicans, Right to Life, KKK, at least today we can say what we feel to be true. That the existence and continuance of play relies upon me, relies upon you. Look, I like early mornings before beginning of days when cool chill adds to the flavor of light. I like afternoons with the last of light to sit in weak sunshine, drink in and imbibe. I like full moons reflecting solar bright peach butter skylight borrowing night. I like each moment to unfurl and impress. Most of all, I like to, to express 2022 reasons to be cheerful today. When I see cars registered to 2023 and 2024, I trust in continuance more. When someone smiles at me for no reason, or a stranger waves in aggressive Austin traffic, when given an extra slice or a kind word, or an altruist emerges from anonymity, when a true lover of poetry arrives with guitar in hand, and we begin again to improvise together again, when a role model is proven worthy of admiration and respect, no hollow Russian doll, more a Ukrainian wheat harvest, when weather is spring blue skies and sunshine, and even this cat lounges in the garden. When peace begins, continues, augments, flourishes, fades and blossoms again, remembering Eden as a garden of delights. When altruism begins an alphabet of benign optimisms, which extends to every alphabet way beyond A through Z. When health improves and goodwill becomes a universal language, when no limits, fears and laws seek to make us smaller and we can truly love each other, all, each, every, according to their true hearts dancing. Why do we continue? Why do we do it? Because we do not know because it might get better, because others have trod this path, because they survived this harsh weather, because the world calls us, because we will answer, because we're not the only ones, because we're interdependent and unique as sunflowers, because weeds are only healthy growth with poor press agents, because as long as there are light and time, there'll be energies to share, 
because of cycles, seasons, perennials, because of spontaneity, adaptability, surprises await us all and every depression is cured by expression because laughter is the best medicine because you are your own best doctor you are your very best therapist you're the answer to your problems and that is why we all choose to continue thanks for listening Woo! sponsored by arts bark texas and the coalition of texans with disabilities for more content feel free to look at one of our suggested videos below or if you really love us, listen to our podcast, True Tales by Disability Advocates, which will be linked in the description. For more information, contact boy at artsparktexas.org. A-R-T-S-P-A-R-K-E-X dot org.